bist du brauchst es Heute Nacht nur wir zwei, Baby Vergiss, was dein nächstes war Hast jahrelang Stress gehört Heute wird dein bester Tag Wer sonst hier Sex hat? Mach den Block Du kannst uns nicht vergleichen mit dem Rest in Wien Keine Zeit zum Chillen, ich muss Cash verdienen Mehr Kohle, mehr Hater, mehr Sex Appeal, so fresh, so clean Alle meine Jungs kommen von ganz unten Wir machten Moves, keine Tanzstunden Viele von den anderen Dudes wurden Stammkunden Kamen nicht mehr weg, Kiefersperre wie bei Kampfhunden Zu viel gesehen, was willst du mir erzählen? Hello guys, welcome to VCW guys If you're not to the channel, click the like and subscribe over I'm right here with KD Boxen and Clement Italome So, I mean What's up bro, KD Boxen, you there? Hello? Yeah, I'm here, bro. I'm doing good. So, stuff. what are your yeah. thoughts about, um, I mean, you, you, have you seen the, the, the post already? The poll that, uh, uh, Michael Benson, a very respectable journalist, he did on Twitter. Right, the, the heavyweight poll, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, now, they, now that they've yeah. all had their fights, who do you believe is the number one heavyweight in the world? Hashtag latest on the boxing poll. Well, you saw the results. <laughs> Tyson Fury at 83%. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. <laughs> who is, first of all, let, let, let me go to yeah. uh, Clement. Clement, yeah, how are you? what did it stop now? Yeah, I'm good, bro. So, you know, you saw the stuff, right? Or oh, yeah, have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Seen it. So, I mean, Tyson Fury. People think Tyson Fury is the number one everywhere in the world. What are your thoughts about that? I would like to refer to the words of a great legend, a writer. His name is Abu Bakr Gimba in his book, Witness to Tears. He said, majority participation in the vice does not make it a virtue, no matter the social standing of the participants. The whole work I call as the feeling the best, however the best. Until these guys fight real competition, I don't see them are the best. Any of them are the best. That the theory, in my opinion, is not the best everywhere. So I don't think there's any best everywhere out there right now. I don't think so. so you don't think there's uh, any best everywhere right now? At all. What about Andrew Junior? He has three. He has he has four, three to four belts. That doesn't make him the best everywhere. Like, uh, it's not even ranked. It's, if you if I'm to rank everywhere, I would even rank Riz Junior in the first eight. Yeah, uh, listen, people are kind of thinking that Riz Jr. because he beats Joshua miraculously is now number top three. It's not top three. Riz Jr. still has to prove himself. Like beating Joshua yeah, doesn't Riz, really get an... Riz listen, Joshua did not just beat Klitschko and then start for the bumps. No, he beat Klitschko, then went against Carlos Taka, then went against Joseph Parker. He went from killer to killer. You know... It, it all started from, from when he beat Dylan White back in 2015. So let's yeah. just let let just right, let, right. let let's keep it real, man. By the way, hold on, bro, uh, Clement. Uh, let's hear from uh, Kenny Boxing. What's up, bro, Kenny Boxing? Yeah, yes, bro. Yeah, what are, yeah, bro. What, yeah, what, um, what are your thoughts? What, what can I say with that poll? Yeah, I mean with the poll. Um, Boxing fans are very fickle, you know. Tyson Fury just had his fight um, a couple of days ago, so it's fresh in their memory, and everyone, you know, looked at the performance and it's the best in the world. But really, truly, there is no, there is no definitive best in the world right now. Yeah, I, f I still feel like it's there, it's put up for grabs. It's there for the taking because Andrew Ruiz Jr. Yes, he had a great win against Joshua, but I'm not, I'm not sure if he's in, even in the top three. You know, yeah, it's. He has to prove himself, man. He has to. He lost to Joseph Parker, you know. He has. He has to prove himself. 
And um, and Fury, I mean, he beat and, up Tom Shorts. And by the way, he doesn't want to avenge to Joseph Parker's uh, loss. Uh, you know, he lost to Joseph Parker. He doesn't oh, want to wow. avenge it. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's strange. That's strange, bro. That's strange. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm, mm. I don't know why he wouldn't want to avenge his only loss, but um, yeah, that's that's very strange. But I mean, yeah, the best everywhere else still up for grabs is between Wilder, Fury. You know, Joshua, depending on how he comes back against Ruiz at the end of the year, we'll see. But if Ruiz does to him what he did in the first fight, then maybe we've got to start taking Ruiz seriously too. And don't forget guys like Dylan White and Luffy. So I still feel like, you know, um, yeah, it's still up for grabs, grabs at, at the moment. I don't think there's a definitive best heavyweight in the world right now. Okay, that was very reasonable, I have to say. Um, I mean, do I think Tyson Fury is up there, number three or number two, if you if you want to do Joshua wrong and say where he lost to Virginia, yeah. But I still don't feel like Tyson Fury is the best everywhere in the world. Because as Fury as as let's as only fought two credible guys. You know Klitschko and Yeah, yeah. And Water. I mean Tyson Fury let let me go look at his career right now. His record. Uh Tyson Fury Okay, let's go. I mean, he had a very good. By the way, I have to commend him for the performance against uh, Tom Schwartz. That was a very good performance, but I still feel like that does not make it a number one man. And Boss Rack is number four. Boss Rack is number four. I think that's right. Interesting. Is number four. Boss Rick is number four. Uh, in magazine, is going as number one, haven't they? And Joshua is still the number one everywhere in, uh, in in the UK. Even after the loss, so that should tell you something, right? Is he? When we, listen, when we talk about Joshua, we are talking about a guy who fought every, who wanted to fight every goddamn person, man. You know, or oh, Clement, Clement. Yeah, I can hear you. I said. Joshua, in Joshua, you you got we got the best fights, okay? Joshua so didn't want to fight bombs. It's the facts. Joshua the remains the number one heavyweight in the UK, even after a loss on his record. Joshua remains the number one heavyweight in the UK. Go to boss record right there and see it. Because why is it, why is it so? Because is for the better opponents, okay? Yeah, that's, yeah, it's, that's, 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 that's why you need to, this no explanation. You don't, you don't just go from losing one fight overnight and just go to the bottom. Tyson, nobody should, I don't think anybody should be talking about the best of them now because I don't know. If, if you cannot correctly say this is the best heavyweight in the world. Because most of them, they are not, they have not been tested. It's only after te after real test you can say, oh, this is the best heavyweight from records. You want to tell me that Fury is the best heavyweight in the world? I'm going to ask you by what by what parameters did you use to adjudge that? Like, what did you base your your findings? What was your finding based on? That is so simple. Because I'm, I look at that uh, Fury resume, nothing to suggest that it's number one. Nothing to suggest that Wada is number one. Or Andy Ruiz. Who, who got lucky? Or who, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what happened. If, if, if Joshua was bewitched or something happened. But I know, I know anyway, bro, anyway, bro, uh, bro, Clement, Clement, anyway, I'm still hurt by that loss, uh, by, uh, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people are hurt. Still hurt. You know, they're just kind of thinking about it, and uh, yeah. But you don't. It's yeah. You don't pass. You don't pass. But I know that Joshua will have had that loss for sure. Uh, Katie Boxer. Yeah. So me, Joshua is still number one heavyweight um, on boss track, not in the word, but. 
uh, in the UK. What are your thoughts about that as well? Uh, in the world, this is number three now in box red. Well, um, I feel like that can be justified because uh, got the best resume in the heavyweight division. If we're talking pure resume and who has guys, Joshua has. It's simple. It's facts, you know. And um, after after one defeat, maybe maybe you can't you know you can't just drop him from number to number you know because he's got a rematch coming. It's a rematch and God just proves that it was just a blip. Then listen, anyone can have a bad night. So for me, I think that can be justified. Um, but definitely, he has to win the rematch. He has to. <laughs> Uh, Kenny Boston, how do you think Joshua wins the rematch? And well, for me, I thought that I got rid of his core over my cracking, and I'll give you a couple of reasons why. I wasn't happy with his body of work in the corner um, of Joshua in the first fight. I believe that the instructions that he gave Joshua, you know, telling him to go on his back foot. He was only telling him to just jab, jab at one, two, not telling him how to set up anything. And Joshua just kept getting countered. So I believe that Joshua's got to make a lot of changes in the second fight to beat Ruiz. I believe he can beat Ruiz. He's got to stay long. He shouldn't back up too much because he's not a back foot fighter. He's a front foot fighter. He's got to use his jab to keep Ruiz at bay. I'm sure if my cracking is, you know, going to be able to help him make all those adjustments. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Should he suck? Should he suck Rob McCracken? In my opinion, yes. I believe that Rob McCracken is taking him as far as he can take him. He's had Joshua from the amateurs until today. And um, Joshua, the same flaws that I believe that he's had as an amateur, he still has today. Yes, he's improved as a fighter. He's, he's a little stronger, mentally stronger. He's, you know, he's, he's a complete fighter. But the same flaws that he has, for example, the hook that he got caught against Andy Ruiz, he got caught that same hook against Pembekin in the first round. And, you know... There's a few, a few of those slight mistakes. And I, be, and I believe Robert McCracken, although he's done a great job for Joshua, he's taken him as far as he can. I believe Joshua now needs another, you know, a proper professional coach because Robert McCracken is an amateur coach. He trains the Great Britain amateur team. He's the head of t Team GB amateur, um, Great Great Britain amateur team, yeah. And team GB boxing, That's, he's the head of it. So his main amateurs is... The best professional fighter he ever had was Kyle Froch. And Kyle Froch always making defense. Kyle Froch was always getting hit. His chin was his defense. So you can see that Joshua offensively, yes, is great. But defensively, defensively, I feel like he's vulnerable. And I don't think McCracken is the guy to fix those flaws. So I'll say, yeah, I think it's time for McCracken to um, probably step aside, in my opinion. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think it should be it should be it should be the case. But if you're right, if you if, if you may you might, you might be mm. right, man. You might be right, but I think you should uh, mm. had another trainer, another maybe a more advanced trainer who's going to listen. Mark Kraken is a legend, okay? We know that, but his technical abilities. Are limited in the elite at the elite level you understand uh so you need guys like freddie roach especially defensively i'd say defensively he needs a yeah. guy like uh, peter fury defensively a guy like peter fury teach yeah, him even, even a defensive fury, tactics yeah. you need people not just one trainer you he need was, was so, yeah 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 you need you know maybe a couple of trainers in your team that's what I think, you know what I mean? So, but we'll see what happens, man. Uh, Clement. Yes, bro. So, KD Boston said, um, Joshua should suck Rob McCracken. What are your thoughts about that, man? Uh, I beg to disagree with him. I think that should be part of a long-term plan if he's taking the rematch the best thing he's gonna do at this stage is to add bring in a new trainer and a new cardio specialist in the long run after the rematch he beats Ruiz he can think of sacking Robert McCracken and start afresh but if he sacks Robert McCracken now like 
you know, I don't think it's going to be a wise decision for now, you know, for now. I don't think it's going to be a wise decision, you know. I think the best thing for him to do right now is just to bring him a new, a new trainer who's going to teach him some new things. I'm going to add it to what he got and keep, keep going. All right, and away. So the best ever weight, in your opinion, is who right now, Clement? Before I go to KD Box. Well, it's very difficult to say. But if you ask me, my journey, uh, the best ever weight by record by who they fought, by their accomplishments within, and uh, how long it took them to make to accomplish such, I still give it on to the Joshua. So, in your opinion, Clement and the Joshua is the best ever in the world still? He's still the best ever in the world. All right, all right. Well, according to Boss Rec, he's the third best right now. Ruiz is the first. You're into water, the second. And uh, Joshua, the third. What about you, Katie Boxer? Um, you know, best have opinion, which means the heavyweight actually beats, you know, beats them all. And if I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I feel like Tyson Fury will be the hardest to beat because of his style, because of his height. Six foot nine and he can fight on the back foot, southpaw or orthodox. He can bend at the waist. He's a complete, he's a bit of a complete fighter. I know I'm not saying this because I'm so impressed with his performance against Schwartz, no, that reason. But I always thought it was between Joshua and Fury. And, um, you know, like I said, with me, with me having that feeling that McCracken has taken Joshua as far as he can right now, I'm starting to, you know, tend to lean a bit towards Fury, I reckon. So for me, it goes Fury, Joshua, and Wilder, but I could be wrong. Um, all right. Uh, well, in my opinion, Tyson Fury still has to compete, you know, against the top dogs. I mean, not just water or Joshua, but against the upcoming monsters yep, like you know, because uh, Jack is coming up there. We have Dubois, we have Goldman, we still have Parker, we have Tony Yoko, we have Ergovic, we have um, what's his name? This guy from yeah. Poland, um, Babyface. Um, what's his name? Uh, the guy from Poland. Adam Adam Karnaki. Yeah, Karnaki, of course. Name. We have uh, Ajit Kabayel. We have Ajit Kabayel. We have. Listen, people yeah, are forgetting Ajit, this yeah, guy. He's, he's already being there, Chizora. People are forgetting this guy. What's his name? Um, Usik and Murad Gaziev. Those guys coming up from cruiserweight division to do oh, damage. Yeah. It's gonna be very interesting they to see how he plays out. Do some damage. In, in my yeah. opinion, resume wise, he has to go to Joshua, but right now, Joshua should be number three, which is rightfully so. Um, because of the level, you know, of opponent is for. We know that is a very hard man to beat anytime, any day is hard. But until Tyson Fury starts fighting these top dogs. He's not going to, uh, listen, I'm not going to be 100% uh, confident that it can be everyone because his ties looks awkward, we know that, but he might get to fight some people now and those guys who might just drop him and never get up. Remember, the underwater dropped him twice and in the, in the last round was more devastating. You know what I mean? So anything can happen in every division. Yeah. But as a fury, I can say he's the best boxer right now in every division you know and i think uh he beats short guys i think that's a fury ha we have problems with taller guys and short guys he's a guy made for short guys he knows how to keep them on the bear you saw how he controlled the tempo against tom schwartz you saw how he just I made mean, just he just he just play with him like a toy with him like a baby so if that's a fury gets to fight ruiz he yeah. would do the same thing to him it's no different because he yeah, knows yeah, how to fight yeah, he knows how to fight short fighters he also knows how to fight uh tough fighters but the problem is that he knows he can get bamboozled by to by tall fighters you know what i mean so he knows that he knows something yeah. will come and and even though even if joshua uh, lost 
This people, this guys, they, they still don't want to fight Joshua. If you're the best, you have nope. to be ready to fight everyone. Doesn't matter if someone it's lost or not. Not saying that, oh, uh, no, 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 Joshua already lost. Uh, it's done. No, that fight won't happen. That is not, that, that's not how a champion uh, thinks. You know, that's not how a championship thing. If, if, if you ask me, if, maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how it is. I mean, to become the best, that, you, you have to be ready to fight everyone fight. available. Everyone. You know, and I, I don't. And also, I don't personally think that Tyson Fury can uh, can handle the pressure of being a champion. I don't think so. I don't think he can he can handle. Listen, Tyson Fury cannot be able to defend titles after titles after titles after. He cannot be able to defend it. You know, he, he he's not he's not a guy for it. You see what I'm telling you. If he becomes a champion again, he will not defend it more than three to four times especially when they ask him to fight a, a hungry lion he wouldn't do it he would just vacate the belt that's what it does let's keep it real so to be the best Interesting. so Interesting. to, to yeah. be the best to, to be the best bro i'm telling you katie boxing to be the best you're gonna be able to fight every upcoming fighter not just Sefe listen Sefe Seferi pianata and tom schwarz if joshua were to fight those guys what would the public say <laughs> let's, just, let's just keep it real. Yeah, exactly. No, that's de definitely true. If every, you know, every, 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 when Joshua, when Joshua was as a champion, yeah. everybody expected Joshua to fight everyone, okay? Everyone. If Joshua did not fight a guy like Parker, yeah. Carlos Takam, um, Povet King, uh, Lou Ruiz Jr., even people looked over Ruiz Jr., they looked over, they thought he was a bomb or something like that. You know me? Like, Joshua knew. Or yeah. maybe just rather underestimated Virginia, but the boxing insiders knew that Virginia was a dangerous fighter because of his uh, physique and uh, shape, how he looks. You just look at the guy and say, "This is a, this is a, a fat blob. I can just knock him out of one round." But he's a, he's a very tough guy. So mm. anyway, in this, in my opinion, uh, the current heavyweight. Listen, if you the the current heavyweight, the best heavyweight right now should be to go to the underwater man. I'm just saying this because yeah. he's the he's the longest reigning heavyweight champion right now, and also he's undefeated and he has more fights than the others. But going by resume, Joshua is still number one because he's the guy he's the guy yeah. who's fought the to the tougher guys. Why does Fury yeah. only fought two guys? I mean, two guys. Sure. What I mean, a what a Klitschko. Derek Chisora loses to Derek Chisora. No, 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 no. Derek Chisora is not a, he's not an elite fighter. He's not even top ten. You go look at it yeah, right yeah, now. Maybe maybe went as very maybe went, maybe went as very far than the worst top ten or top five. But at, at that time, at that time, let's let's keep it real, bro. At that time, the Evo division was so boring. Nobody even paid attention to the Evo division. Yeah, that, that, that was a, uh, I mean, are you? I, you have boring. to. Also, you have to also tell me that you cannot deny the fact that Joshua made uh, the uh, boxing what it is in the UK right now. Without Joshua, it wouldn't have been so. I mean, boxing was already booming in the UK. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton. They have uh, uh, Bruno, Frank Bruno. But tell me, who knows? Who knows Frank Bruno in uh, in other places? Like, like I'm talking about. Modern, I'm not talking about America right now. Oh, uh, you know, people always think when uh, I think the British public tend to think only about America. You know me, but yeah, yeah. Muhammad yeah. Ali, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali is known everywhere. Mike Tyson is known everywhere. You go, yeah. Those were superstars. Joshua yeah. is in the same position. When you go to Nigeria right now, we don't know Joshua. When you go to Ghana or you go to uh uh uh. uh Southeast Asia, in China. I know I know people yeah, in China that so I talk to. Crossed over. So, yeah. tell me, who? Tell me a British father that 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 has ever achieved the fame, okay, in a very short time, like Joshua did, or the money. You, there's none. Yeah, there's yeah, there's none. He, he transcended the sport. So yeah. so so he, so. He transcended boxing in the UK. So let's keep it real, bro. Let's keep it real. In my opinion, uh, the best everywhere right now. I don't like water. I don't like uh, how he fights, but I have to admit that he's water. He's water. All those guys just, 
you know, saying it's Tyson Fury, uh, they are doing it out of out of out of fanboyism. They all they look they looked at the fight against uh, uh, Tom Schwartz when he started dodging those punches, and they said, "Oh, this is the bad nah, 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 man." It doesn't matter how you fight. It doesn't matter if you're a technical fighter. It doesn't matter if you're the ma if you're the master if you're a master boxer. I know Tyson Fury is a very is I call him the boxer maestro. Okay, but I still feel like you've got to fight all. Yeah. Incoming dangerous all opponents, top all top contenders, prospects, fight all of them to become yeah. the man because because Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, even Olifit, all those guys fought each other. They fought top guys. You know I me. Mean? Yeah. They fought top yeah. guys. Yeah. To become yeah. a legend, you have to fight all. I don't. I, I think. I think. I think. Uh, Tessafir is a very good fighter. Like I'll say, he's a good fighter, but still not number one. He's still number four, in my opinion. And Rich Jr. number three because because of the belts. Once those belts are gone and the Jr. goes back to fifteen again. That's just it. Because Ruiz Jr. cannot beat Usik. Yeah. Ruiz Jr. cannot yeah. beat Ajak, but in fact, Egovich yeah. beats Ruiz Jr. Let's keep it real here. Joshua, Joshua got there, you know, Joshua is not a guy who's used to fighting, short fighters, you know, and also has some concussion before, eight, eight days prior to the bout. We know what happened. We know that that was not Joshua that stepped in the ring. But let's just say it was. Reginio won fair and square. Good. I'm happy for him. But the fact is that for Reginio to be even ranked number three or four in the world, he has to fight all the top lions right now. And he yeah, knows, 100%. he knows, he doesn't even want to rematch with Joseph Parker because he knows he will lose. That's just a fact, bro. Let's keep it real. By the way, yeah. I think I've, I've talked too much, man. Tomorrow, me and you will go live, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll go live. Out. 100%, bro, 100%. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. We'll go live, then we can go live and talk about it. Talk boxer, man. And I don't know if uh, Clement will be available. Yeah, Alpha, man, Clement. Yeah, I'm with you. Hmm. That's all, that's all. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks guys for joining me and uh, discussing this very controversial topic, man. What are your final thoughts, Clement, before we vamoot? My final thoughts is that we are still waiting for the best ever weight in the world. We've gotten none for now. Okay, by the way, let me. I have one question for both of you guys. First, you, Clement. Uh, if Joshua comes back in a rematch and beat Virginia, Will he now retake his position as the best winner? One, no, that is that is already clear. When you have the majority of the best, you become number one. So that's that's what the ranking tells you, and that's why Ruiz is number one boxer. There's no. Okay. Um. Okay. Can he box him? What do you think about it? Give it to us as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, Joshua will he really reclaim his spot as the best in the world if he beats Andrew Ruiz Jr. I believe so. I believe so. For me, my, my list before was Joshua, and in my opinion, three was second simply because I believe that he beat Deontay Wilder in the fight. Although he scored a draw, I believe that in my opinion he won the fight. But that's a different conversation. And then I had Wilder third. The only reason how I'm, um, I'm I'm leaning towards Fury, you know, one and Joshua two is because. The manner of how Joshua lost, and like I said, the McCracken thing. But if he can overcome all of that, come back and beat Ruiz Jr. even in in any type of you know fashion, I'll be definitely impressed. And yeah, for me, that because if we look at heavyweight boxing history, there's not many champions that come back for an immediate rematch and beat the opponent. If Joshua can do that, that. Is well, 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 uh, we, we, I, I, I think Joshua will come back and we'll be Ruiz. And listen, we know size makes fight, we know that we heard that many times. If you can do that for me, I think it's risky, man. It's risky, it's risky, but the unified of working would do it. We know, listen, I'm not just saying it because I'm a Joshua fan or because I'm a dad. Listen, I'm saying it because I believe that first fight. Maybe not a fluke, but something was clearly wrong behind scenes. Joshua hired yeah, a sport, so a I sport believe, psychologist yeah. before the for, before the fight. He's never done that before. Something went 
wrong behind the scenes. And at the end of Matthew Boxing, don't want to talk about it because he know what's going on. He know the stick is gonna get. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, um, yeah. thanks for joining me. KD Boxing, give your, your final thoughts. By the way, you guys should go follow uh, KD Boxing on uh, on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Let's uh, make it grow. Let's grow. Let's go to the YouTube channel. KD Boxing TV. KD Boxing TV. Okay. KD yeah, Boxing TV. Boxing TV. All right, I always, I always forget, bro. Like it reminds me of seventy sports TV. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever I see TV, especially if it's a Boston channel, that it just that just that just that just, uh, just, just go to, goes through my mind. Seventy like, sports TV. Right, that's the, <laughs> that's, the, that's the first time I've seen a, bo a box a Boston channel. You know, had a TV to it, so. Normally you see it on this uh, yeah. other other <laughs> box, other box, other um, entertainment uh, channels, you know. So, anyway, thanks guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining me. Let's say go subscribe to KD Boxing TV. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Follow me on Twitter at Boxing Block, and uh, follow me on, on Facebook at Boxing Block Center. You can tell them where they, where they should follow you, bro. Uh, in the box and TV. Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both KD Boxing TV, and of course, you can subscribe to me here on YouTube at KD Boxing TV. So yeah, stay, stay blessed, bro. Respect. Listening. Catch you tomorrow. We we'll talk, and they go live. Right now. Yes, definitely. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, bro.